You guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to how to um create a Roblox console inside of your own app. Now, essentially, I'm gonna I'm gonna be showing an example real quick. So yeah, so I'll be using my as a reference. This is available in the Discord server. It's coming soon. So essentially, what we do is that I'm gonna be injecting my exploit, and um, this is not an advertisement, obviously. So we're gonna go into a game. Just an example of how we're gonna log the book Roblox console. So the only exploit that I'm aware that does this is awp.gg, which is the second Krampus, which I'll be showing you guys what that looks like real quick. Looks like just Roblox. Is the Roblox open in the background? Okay. So ignore this part, essentially what I'm going to show you guys is how we're going to do this. Now, once we got Roblox open, I'm going to attach, obviously, and something's wrong. Okay, there we go, now I'm loaded. So, how we're going to do this is pretty simple. Okay, there we go. Okay, so, pretty simple, how we're going to do this. Now, we're going to go to our exploit and we're gonna see how we can visualize this now obviously you're gonna need a working exploit for this and yeah so this is roblox debug console anything that gets logged in here will be you can see returned here now it won't show every single thing that's in the roblox debug console or developer okay i need to stop saying debug so i'm gonna restart anything in the roblox developer console that's not by your exploit will not save because it's impossible to do that well, it is possible, maybe, but not in what terms of what I know. So, I'm going to be opening my exploits directly real quick. So, give me a second, guys. Okay, so we have our uh, window open. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Roblox Developer Console. Now, someone is doing something with motorboats. I don't know. So, right over here, we're going to create a new file with our exploit. Right file. And we're gonna, this is what we're going to name our log file. I'm going to name it Roblox dev.log. Okay. And we're going to just put nothing inside of there right now. Okay. So we're just going to leave it completely empty. Nothing inside. Because I'm not. What the hell? Okay. Do I need it? Um. What the hell? Hello? I do not know what's happening. I'm gonna retry this because I don't know what the hell just happened. Please, guys, stand by while we do some technical difficulties. Okay? Because I don't know what is happening. So, if I put in a high. Okay, there we go. Something's wrong with my exploit. So, we're gonna do the same thing I was writing. writing before write file right print dot lua or anyway Roblox dot log hi oops that's right now after we create a log file this is where we start to put information now my ex execute code does not work on my exploit. I don't know what the hell I did. So we're gonna have to figure that out later on. Right over here, we're gonna type in what we're gonna log in Roblox. Now this is gonna be more typically in your auto execute or your init script of your pasted exploit. We're gonna start with something like, first we're gonna actually have to store the print so we don't have to, maybe we don't cause a C stack overflow. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a local, old print equals print so this, will, this is going to save the print okay and let's i'm going to make this clean local logs equals this is our file name so roblox.log what we already created and we're going to go ahead local timing, timing equals always.date now, 
What Roblox does in the developer console is it saves each timestamp of what time the message was printed. So I think it was. We're gonna figure this out in a second. And then we're gonna go in here and equate the actual print function. Now I'm doing type function print. And this allows any argument to pass through. And one, two, three, four. Okay, so these are the arg arguments that will be, you want to push, you know, back. Okay, so that's what we're going to push. Push. Now we have another one called local log. Or that's message that's going to be sent. Okay, so I don't know why I'm doing hand signals while I do this shit. I think it was local equals always dot date. Oh, I need to put in a function. Let's put in a function to get timer. Time probe. Local. I'm gonna do this. Return. Return OS dot date. What's my percentage? M. Or actually, we're gonna do an hours only. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, my bad. We should not be doing the time. Well, we can do the time if you were to prefer that. But you're gonna create a special system. That okay. There we go. That was easy. Okay. Um, that's time pro. So we're doing time pro. Table dot concat. That's the arguments that we have gotten from here. Split. No wait. And add. Okay, so this should work. Two, three. Wait. Oh, I forgot to write file. Oh my god, so stupid. Okay, so this is the part. Now, write file is essentially what we're going to do if the file doesn't exist, but I don't have this file. So we're just going to do an append file. Well, that's a lot we created. There we go, done. Let's change, let's wait for that. Okay, why isn't it loading? Did I do something wrong? It's an error. Okay, so attempt to Function with string 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so let's see what we did right here. Function with string? Wait. Wait. I think I know what I did. Oh, okay, so that's what I did. Okay, now it did save the log. There we go. Perfectly worked. Now, Roblox does a double dash on that, so we can obviously just add that. Modify our code up a little bit. No, that's just pretty much it. Yep, that's. Pretty much it's real guys. So our C sharp part I will make a part two on it because it's late. That's pretty much it guys. I'll leave this code in the description of how we can make our own Roblox developer console in here. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys, peace out. Sigma Sigma boys! Sigma.